Hello friends, this is Sudhir, your host from Coinsutra.com. And for those of you who are coming here for the first time, Coinsutra is a community of Bitcoin and altcoin users. And today we are going to discuss about a very popular and beautiful Bitcoin and altcoin wallet. Yes, I'm talking about the famous Exodus wallet. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through towards each and every feature of Exodus wallet. But before that, let us see some of the beautiful pics of this wallet. So this is how your dashboard will look like colorful and elegant when you log in for the first time if you are holding some cryptocurrencies on it. And when you try to log in, you will be able to see this elegant look. And when you're trying to exchange currencies with its inbuilt exchange feature, which I'm going to tell you more about in this video, it will look like something like this. And this is how your wallet history will look like when you're trying to access the wallets of different currencies, which it is currently supporting. So this wallet is presently available in Windows, Mac and Linux. And I have already installed my Exodus wallet on my Mac machine. So I will just walk you through towards that application. So let's get started and this is how your exodus wallet will look like when you first time log in and it is like very colorful and cheerful to see such vibrant colors i feel so and you can see here that i am having certain amount of cryptocurrencies in golem certain amount in omisgo and here to showing me the dollar value of both the currencies which i'm holding and if i want to see how many units of golem and omisgo i'm holding I can simply just click on this dollar value of Golem 68. It will automatically change into the units which I'm holding. So if I click, you can see that I'm having 347 something something Golem and Omisgo also. And rest all I'm not having in this wallet. And it is stored in my cold storage. But it doesn't mean that this is not a good wallet. Of course, it's a very good wallet, but it's a hot wallet that we have to understand before using. And here you can see on the top left that it is showing me the dollar value of overall portfolio. If I want to see how much equivalent it is in Bitcoin, I will simply click on it and it will show me an equivalent BTC value, which I think is very good. And as you can see on the desktop that it is supporting like more than 15 altcoins, including Bitcoin, which is of course the king of cryptocurrencies. And if you see on the top right corner, if I want to enable more wallets, I can simply go here and check these check boxes if any wallet which I want to disable, enable. So let's suppose if I'm clicking on Argon, Augur, Bat, so these wallets will be disabled and rest all will be shown. So for now, I will just keep only the popular cryptocurrencies which were like the pioneer ones. So if you see, I'm just disabling Funfair, Genosis, See, if I'm trying to disable Golem, you cannot do that basically because you already have some balance on it. So I'll not disable Bitcoin also, or Misgo also, I'm having some balance and I will disable some. I'll go to my portfolio and it will be like clean and sleek like this, something like this. So I think it's a very vibrant and cheerful thing to watch your wallet every day. It encourages you to track your portfolio. So moving on to the next option, which is wallet. So if you see here, whatever wallets I have enabled, it is showing me. So I have made few Bitcoin transactions from it. So it is showing me the history of that. So you can see here that I have received Bitcoin on this and that date. And one of the important features that I really liked in this wallet was whenever you transact your cryptocurrencies, it shows you the now and then value of those cryptocurrencies. So let's see, on July 24th, I had some Bitcoins which were like valued of $3,000, which were like 1.15 something in BTC. And now those are like valued more than $8,000. So this is something unique, which I've not seen in other mobile or desktop wallet. And you see that Bitcoin Cash, Civic, Dash, Ethereum, Golem, everything is supported. So if you see the same thing which I was mentioning that when I had transacted Golem for the first time it was valued like $170. Now it is like almost less than a half, $68. I have lost uh, quite a few value. This is what happens when you are dealing with cryptocurrencies. So this is how you can see each and every wallet and scroll it through. So if you see like if you want to send and receive any of these cryptocurrencies, you just have to click on send and the pretty much the usual thing which we do in all the wallets you can see here btc value usd value send 
So right now I'm not having any balances so it will not show and this is how you can scan your QR code, see your Bitcoin address, copy it from the clipboard, print it or you can view it on the blockchain, it will directly take you to the blockchain explorer. So let me go to the next option which is exchanges. So this is one of the cool features which I have not seen in many or I would say any desktop wallet of all kinds of Bitcoins which is like an inbuilt exchange. Of course this inbuilt exchange is not developed by Exodus but it is powered by the very popular API which we all know that is Shapeshift. So if you have any of the currencies which you want to transact and exchange in return of any other currencies which Exodus wallet supports you are welcome to do that. So as you can see now I am trying to exchange Bitcoin with Ethereum and it is showing you the current market price and if I am like comfortable with the BTC and Satoshi's value I can type here and if I want to like type not comfortable with Satoshi's and BTC's I can like write the respective USD value. Right now I don't have funds so I will not be able to exchange anything. So I'm just showing you so whatever USD value you put it will automatically calculate it into Satoshi's file which is I think a good thing which should which every wallet should have. So let's move on to the next option which is very very important backup and I'm not going to show you this because this is like everything you will be able to see my wallet and retrieve my cryptocurrencies so 12 words seed key and my reset email password which i have just set up just for showing you so don't show this 12 words to anyone so let's move to the next option which is settings so i have already showed you that how you can enable disable different wallets like bad dash bitcoin so if let's suppose i have enabled these three i can now go in see it on my portfolio see it has been enabled all the argon bat they are all enabled but i don't have any value or any units of cryptocurrency stored on them that's why it is showing zero right now otherwise it would have shown in this pie with different different colors so let's see the next option in settings which is localization which you can see different currencies stated here so USD, all the popular currencies are here. Oh my gosh, I cannot see my Indian national rupees. That's very really sad. And the other option is skin. This is a very beautiful feature, and you can change the themes and skins of your Exodus wallet. I like this zigzag cross skin very much. And if you want to change it to something like skin of shape shape, degree, master node, you can do that. And uh, for this, I will keep it as a group, which I really like. And the help section is really really helpful. It is not just written like help but uh, the developers of this wallet are really really helpful and I have, I have interacted with these guys in email and on the slack channels and you can reach out and say hello to them on exodus or mail them on support at the redexodus.io and these are some of the cool FAQs which I think most of us have when we are dealing with a wallet for the first time so you can go through them one by one and they are pretty much neat and clean and straightforward point to point which will help you to understand that what's your problem is. So this is one of my favorite wallets which I really use like most of the times and please understand this is a hot wallet and consider the risk of using it. Do not store a lot of value in this because it is always connected to the internet when you're using it. So it has its own risks. So the another thing is this is only strictly desktop wallet. So you don't have any versions available for mobile devices of Android or iOS. So if you are really fan and looking forward to use a very easy to use desktop wallet, this is the one that you should definitely see. And in this Exodus wallet series videos, I am going to show you next that how to backup your Exodus wallet using the 12 word seed key and also how to restore that wallet when something goes wrong with your device. And that's all from my side in this video. If you have more questions and comments, which I am pretty sure that you must be having, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And also I invite you to join the cryptocurrency community of CoinSutra. We are available on Telegram, Twitter, Facebook, G+, and we also have a forum where we entertain all types of questions in and around cryptocurrencies. And also don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel where I'm recording and putting this video. So all the links are provided below. Bye bye. See you again.